I am so glad to have my friend Dave Ray here and we're collaborating a little bit on YouTube Yes. and Dave and I, I can't even think about when we met. It seems like I've known you for all my life <laughs> <laughs> and you have been there for me so many times with my business. And, 1997. Um, uh, my husband's in the background running the camera and he's saying 1997, you is that right. when we met? Right. That's the first air show at Braun Brothers, that's when we met him. So, that's, 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 you know, I never remember the time because it seemed like forever as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah it seems like forever as well. But, uh, quickly for those of you that just first time to see this on YouTube, I'm Bonnie McGowan, Banika Shears. We have a line of shears, which are Banika, which that's, I'm the Bonnie and Banika and the trained sharpeners and I sharpen shears. And Dave is just a total entrepreneur. I tried to make a list of all the things you are. Um, educator, award-winning stylist, consultant, author. You've had books on the New York Times um, recommended best list, bestseller mm -hmm. list. A brand manager, publisher, mentor, motivational speaker, publisher, um, trichologist. A lot of people don't even know what a trichologist is. <laughs> but what I wanted to find out from you today is you are a left-handed stylist in a right-handed world. What? <laughs> has it been a problem or has it been an asset? Actually, I think it's been an asset. And really? you know what? I don't realize I'm left-handed. So whatever left-handed means to other people. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you, all the years I've been in this industry, I have clients who have been servicing for, I have one client who's serving for 28 years. And she'd never realized I was left-handed until she was sitting, watching me work because she always sees me through the mirror. Ooh. And she said to me, why are you using your left hand? I said, I always use my left hand. She said, no, you never use it with me. She said, I've been, I didn't know you were left-handed for all these years, 28 years. I said, that's because you're sitting watching me do your daughter's hair. Normally you're sitting in my chair. So in the mirror, the image is making it seem like I'm right-handed, but I'm left-handed. It's just amazing. And because she said, well, you don't even look awkward because most left-handed people, they, you know, I can I can even see when people are walking who are left-handed, left-handed. You can see the shoulder, how the shoulder limps a little bit. You know, I said, "Are you left-handed?" They said, "Oh, you know." I said, "I can tell just the way you walk." I don't have that because when I was younger, I attempted to be ambidextrous. Okay, okay, that so makes sense. When I play what you call baseball here, we call it cricket, something like cricket. You're from where? Antigua. Antigua. And Barbuda, I have to call both. So when we used to play cricket, I played like a right-handed person. So I bat right-handed. Most people bat the other way. I bat this way. So they never could understand how I was left-handed and still bat right-handed. So I trained myself that way for a long time. My younger brother now, if you see him, you know he's left-handed because he looks left-handed. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I found we don't make that many left-handed shears because most people that are left-handed, like you, will use left and right-handed yes. shears. Yes, I've used both. And, and, and I, I don't, sometimes I, I purchase a shear and I don't realize it's a right-handed shear until I look at the screw. So the screw will tell me if it's right-handed or left, but it cuts to me beautifully. You can't always tell by the screw. Some shears are designed so the screw can be put on either on side, side for okay. a left-handed or right-handed right person. Yes, yes. Now, all our left-handed shears are truly left-handed. But I know you use some of our left-handed shears and yes. some of our right-handed shears. Yes. And we matter of fact, I like some of your right-handed shears. Um, it makes it's more comfortable than using a left-handed shears. Yeah, and well, the the one you just did that my haircut in the previous um, video, and I've got the links below where they can see that haircut. Uh, and you were using a right-handed shear in that whole video. And I was able, I hope I didn't look awkward using it. I think I did pretty do. You just your hand just automatically adjusts to just it. Just adjust to it. I think it also has to do with the size of my fingers. So. You know, some women, mostly who do here, they have smaller fingers. Well, some of them do. And um, so, True. you know. You if, got a large hand. <laughs> well, if, if the shear comes with those, um, what do you call those things that you it's put in? Ring. The in inserters? Oh, I see. I think I got some of them. Something yeah. like this? Yes. With the rings if, in it? So if, it, if, it, if both of the sides are the same, mm -hmm. and I have to do an insertion, most times I don't even use the insertion. You can't tell which side, which side is bigger than the other. So I just get it to fit, you know, fit me well. Doesn't matter which side. So like something like this, like our right. curve shear, you can just flip it either way. Either way. And you you would just use it and not worry just about use it. it. Don't mm -hmm. worry. Now I've got a story to tell you, and this is one we were talking about earlier, and you forgot 
about this thing. He was on main stage at an international hair show in um, Dallas. Dallas, I Dallas. think. Okay. Was it Dallas or Houston? It might be Dallas. I, I can't remember. I think it's Houston. Houston. Yeah. I believe you're. I believe yeah, you're right. Houston. Anyway, he's on main stage, and he's doing these fabulous haircuts. He has these gorgeous models up there. I mean, they were. I mean, just and it was just going and the music and everything. And, and I'm kind of standing off the side. You, you'll see me a lot of times on videos where I'm just doing with my hands crossed watching. And um, Dave's cutting with our new texturizers. They're just beautiful things. And he's cutting, he, and he just very nonchalantly hands them to me. He says, Bonnie, hand me another shear. And I'm like, I know enough about this haircut. He's not through using them. But I just go grab another shear and hand it to him. And what had happened on texturizing shears, it's really important when they have those teeth that you don't do that crab grip that left-handed people do because then that tooth can come in and bite the other side and it was... Uh, so it locked up. I think the shear locked up. It locked she's up. She's reminding me of it the story. It locked up, yeah. So I just said, let me you use another so shear cool so I can... You were so So what I wanted to do was to use another shear to show them another technique, but it really was because the shear locked up. I was so embarrassed. I thought I was going to die. I'm like, <laughs> and they were they're brand new shears. It was the first time we were debuting them, so we wanted everybody to see them. But the audience yeah. didn't know at all because yeah. we tried to play it off really nicely. That's... And it was only because a left-handed person was using a texturizer. And if you are right-handed, don't loan your shears to a left-handed person. Because they will... We had somebody come in today with sharpening, and his shears, the handles were all bent up. I had to get Gene with his strong hands to bend them back because he was torquing them wrong. And that's what, you know, but you do it automatically. I do it automatically. Do you have any advice for people who are left-handed out there and that are stylists? And... Um, you know, should they try to switch and cut with their right I hand? I think they should, even if you don't want to cut on people, you should get mannequins and practice using your right hand. Really, yeah. The thing is, you have to get the ergonomics in your hand. You have to get the movement in your hand to become accustomed to your using it. If you only use your left hand for everything, then you can't, let's suppose you have an, an incident. Let's suppose you have, God forbid, you have an accident with your hand. You won't be able to work. So if you can use your right hand, at least partially, and you can practice, you can, what you call, acquire the use of this hand. So you don't have to depend on your, I mean, naturally I go to my left hand because I'm left-handed. But if I had to use my right, I would be able to. It may take me a little longer, but it's not like I'm totally um, out of the loop, like I can't function. So I would say practice on mannequins using your, what's most uncomfortable for you until it becomes comfortable. Well, I've known, um Two, three people now, I think, that could use really both, both hands. And like, for instance, this shear comes in an identical shear, whether it's right-handed or left-handed. Yes. This one happens to be a left-handed one. And um, what they'll do, they'll cut maybe one side of the head with the right hand. Yes, and, and then the it. other, switch it to the left hand. Mm -hmm. And they say that their hands are more rested at the end of the day. And these shears are great too because of the because of the ergonomics of your. Yeah, because um, it turns it turns, turns it turns with your turns hands. With your, yeah. yeah. And if you are left-handed and you have never cut with left-handed shears. I find that these with the thumbs that swivel are the best ones to learn on because if you start gripping them like a, the, the crab grip, I right. call it, crab grip. It, it, it will turn on you and it'll force you to cut relax. Ah, uh, yes. So that's, um, so Dave always knew there were some unique things about you and being a left-handed person, a right-handed world, but um, that's part of, I think, heard that people that are left-handed tend to be more creative and more presidents are left-handed so yes, you're you're in good are. company yeah most presidents are left-handed and it's funny because even growing up you know at one point in school the teacher was trying one of the teachers in my junior school i guess was trying to have me shift my left hand to my right hand and my grandfather said no, let him use his left hand mm -hmm. because my grandfather was very well read and he said most of the you know, major, what do you call it, um, famous people in yeah. the world? Presidents, presidents and so presidents forth. And so yeah, a lot of leaders have been left handed. Left -handed. And so um, I, I'm happy I use my left hand. And it's funny, my last name is Ray, and that happens to be a trait in the Ray family. Really? Trait. So uh, it was too funny how years ago I went to Anguilla, which is another island in the Caribbean, and that's where the Rays are originally from, but we don't know them. Okay. So I went there for a conference. I was in this civic organization. We went there for a conference. And so I went to visit. As a matter of fact, when I got to the St. Martin, if you know St. Martin, we had to go to St. Martin and take a ferry over to Anguilla. Yeah. And when I got to the ferry, the ferry was like $40. And the guy said, go on. He had our names. 
He said, go on the ferry. And I'm like, well, I didn't pay. He said, go on the ferry. So my people behind me are saying, but he says to go on, why are you arguing? So I went on the ferry. Hmm. I didn't understand why he didn't charge me. But he saw my last name. <laughs> and the ferry was owned by the Ray family. <laughs> <laughs> so he doesn't know me, but as far as he's concerned, I'm a Ray. So why would I charge a Ray? It was too funny. So I went to visit in that little country. I went to visit the Rays. And the young lady called her grandfather, who was the owner of, they had like a, they had a hotel, they had the, really? they, they owned the hotel, they owned a, um, a sewage company, like the garbage collection yeah. company, they owned a funeral home, or everything all in one block, <laughs> it was theirs. So when I went to meet the young lady, she said, um, let me call my grandfather, because he would know about our history. Mm -hmm. So he came downstairs, and he said, hi young man, we spoke, he said, where are you staying? I said, I'm staying at the hotel, so he said, write it down for me. So I said, the hotel is so and so. He said, write it down. I picked up the pen and I started to write. He said, put the pen down. You're right. Because I use my left hand. <laughs> so my grandfather, my grandfather has 12, uh, 11 children. And seven of them are left handed. Seven out of 11. How many of them are boys? Um, I think three. Really? Three and four. Because I know it's, you know, males and, are more likely to be left handed. And than I'll females. tell you. One girl, she's a um, pediatric uh, surgeon. She's lefty. The other, my, the, my uncle, he is a doctor and now a lawyer. Wow. Both. And he's left hand. He's he's an awkward left hand, and he works now for the FDA. He works. He approves drugs that are made by mm -hmm. Pfizer and all yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. He's a patent, patent lawyer, doctor, whatever. Patent, Pat patent, whatever you want to say. In the islands, we say patent because you know we're very British. <laughs> so he went, as a matter of fact, I thought he never wanted to stop going to school, but he's a lefty. And then, uh, let me see who else. I have a, a nurse practitioner, my oldest aunt, she's a lefty. Um, I don't remember everybody who right does, but John, my, my father happens to be right handed, but all of his children are left handed. That's amazing. So that's how we know we are raised. I don't know if that makes sense to you. But. So if you're watching and you're left handed, put a comment in below of any difficulties you've had. Um, in your life being left-handed because I know um, it, it's it's my daughter is left-handed a grandmother is left-handed and, uh, and it, it's just tougher for lefties in this world but, I, but I've, I, the thing is I've never had any trouble with it and I've been so creative and most people say I'm creative because I'm a lefty I mean I I have gotten assignments to do where people have offered me to do assignments where I pretend I know how to do it and I don't know how to do it and I just say yes I can do it <laughs> um, and I do it and they're like wow you're so great I was like you don't realize the first time I'm doing it. So, for example, maybe like interior decorating or something. I uh, see you yeah, doing I've that. Done that. Yeah. I, I started doing interior decorating, but just the person having confidence in me. She didn't know I ever did it before. Yeah, I but told I could her. see you. Wait, just the way you carry myself. Yeah, yeah, you. So that's what it is. So uh, I, 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 I enjoy being a lefty, and I'll never change it for the world. And one thing I want to leave them with is how to tell the difference between a left-handed shear and a right-handed shear. Okay. And it's not necessarily which side the screw is on because some people switch the screw. But you see how this one crosses left over right, and this is a right-handed shear, and it goes right over left. So, no matter how you turn it. Yeah, that makes sense.